Telehealth services are not going away anytime soon. Most programs started during the pandemic as a way to service patients from the comfort of their home and while trying to relieve the burden of all those hospitals dealing with capacity issues. Now Augusta University and the Medical College of Georgia want to expand those services to rural communities. Alyssa Lyons looks at how they'll use a million dollars to help. Emergencies can happen in the blink of an eye. And in rural Georgia, specialized care is harder to get than gas for a tractor. With new federal funding, the Medical College of Georgia is trying to change that. Okay, great. Telehealth care is the care of the future. It's just the evolutionary process of, of giving care. Bring the future present, you have to bring areas still in the past to scratch. We have a lot of trouble attracting physicians, especially specialists to the rural hospitals. With a million dollars in federal funding, MCG will bring it straight to you, bedside. What we do is that if we have a, a patient that's in need of the ER, we connect with the um, ER specialists here at AU, and they're able to help guide our providers on what services we can do in order to handle that patient's emergency. It's not a fix all because the technology simply isn't there yet. The telemedicine is between the hospital and the hospital. It will evolve over time as broadband becomes more available from the hospital to the home. It has its limitations, definitely. You can't listen to the heart or the lungs or things like that, but there are a lot of things you can do. The funds will go towards equipment and education. It's pretty, it's a pretty big part of the medical curriculum space. We'll have real patients and we visit them every like once every Thursday in a month uh, on telehealth. All with you in mind. You don't always have to be face to face in order to get the same level of care. And Augusta Alyssa Lyons on your side.